Hey guys, so after our shakedown trip, we found it necessary to do a few minor modifications to make our, our lives easier. Uh, one thing is the screen door. Uh, multiple things we do to the screen door. Right now, to open the screen door, you get that, uh, if you have our V's, you know, you have to slide it open, then depress the lever, then slide it closed, not to let the, um, the bugs in. And I'll show you that later. But uh, it becomes a hassle, that extra two or three steps in there. So we took for granted what we had on our old trailer. We had one of these screen doors with the spring on it. So what happens is, is this goes on the screen door and instead of having to slide it open, depress it, and then slide it closed on your way out, all you gotta do is depress this little thing on like a donut and that'll, that'll depress the screen door opener and you won't have to do that step. So that's one thing. Uh, believe it or not, it's a little bit hard to find. Um, Camping World didn't have it. I found it at uh, eTrailer.com. And when I was shopping at eTrailer.com, I also found this RV screen door closer kit. Now, the kids walk out of the camper, never close the screen door. They walk in the camper, they don't close the screen door. No matter how, no matter how many times you talk to them, they're never going to close the screen door. Um, so I got this. So this should close the screen door behind them every time they walk out. Uh, it's also good if you have your hands full, you have to turn around and close it. It also will keep the screen door closed so the dog doesn't run out. If we don't want the dog running out, um, we can keep that screen door closed. So we're going to try this. This is from Campco, this product. And speaking about the dog, we also got this, this right here. This is um, a screen door protector. So what it's going to do is it's going to prevent the dog from jumping up on the bottom portion of the door and ripping that uh, plastic screen. So we're going to put that on as well. And one thing I, one more mod to the screen door. Believe it or not, we're doing four modifications on the screen door. Uh, the kids, when they're, when they're coming from outside, they have to walk up the two steps, open the screen door, and then they have to hold the door so it doesn't close on them, and then walk down the steps so they have now room to open the door to get in. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to attach one of these, um, this is just like a, a shade cord. I'm going to attach this to the handle and leave this about maybe an inch from the bottom of the door. I'll, I'll run it through a loop like this to keep it from moving around too much. This way, when they walk from the outside, all they're going to have to do is pull the cord and the door will open. So won't, they won't have to walk up, then walk down, and get in. Alright, so the first problem is, is that this does not work. Um, this is much smaller than this. So I have to try and figure out something for that. Not everything can be easy. Alright, so that didn't work out. Uh, I was looking to modify this somehow or graft the two together, uh, but I noticed now that that piece that depressed the handle would have uh, would have been hitting this door handle for the outer door. So, hey, listen, live and let live. You gotta try things out. So uh, maybe I'll return it, maybe I'll pass it on. But I got another plant now. I got two of these cords. So I'm thinking maybe I'll use one on the outside, and maybe I can use one on the inside. Um, I gotta make a hole anyway for the one on the outside, so. I'll see if maybe I can get this one to work for the inside. I don't know. We'll try it out. Either way, I'm making a hole for the outside one. So. Pulling this string. I'll allow them to open it from the outside. I ran it down the outside of the door. this thing here. So now they could just walk right up to the door and pull that and open it. Only thing I wish it was black cord, but it's okay. Now the inside, the inside I ran through this door. If I ran through the crack, the crack here it got held up. But I left enough slack so that you can open this fully. Pass stuff out if you had to and then just Back. 
All right, so I adjusted the door. Uh, it slams a little better now. The springs definitely help. You can see that uh, how it works. Pretty good lever. It does seem to slam that once, but then after that, it closes on the second catch. Well, that one was perfect. So, got to attach the guard for the dog now. Everything seems to be working as it should. We've got the openers, both inside and out. We've got the guard for the dog and the closers. That's the end of our screen door mods. This little pull chain, the little pull string that we had for the, uh, isn't really working the way I wanted to because it, it works, it's fine, it opens the door, but it's kind of low. Uh, when you're coming down these steps, it's kind of low to be, um, <clears throat> to be pulling that. So, I look for something else. I found this. Screen door opener by Camco RV. And I'm going to give it a shot. It's like a little, um, it's a little grommet. That if this is the screen door, then you pull up on it. With everything else, I recommend a pilot hole first. All right, so there you have it. Install complete, screen door mods done with the exception of one snip. I'm gonna snip the inside cord to this because we're gonna, no, we're not gonna need it anymore. I'm still gonna leave the outside cord that I showed you before for the kids. So basically, the Camco lever is right here. You pull up on it, the screen door opens. Close it. It works with the door closed and you can also open the door, it just stays, it stays with the door. So I'm going to cut this piece off. We don't need that anymore. So, that's what you do. Now, this thing doesn't have to be slid in and out to depress this lever anymore. Because you could do it with this. Whenever you travel somewhere and then you open up this medicine cabinet in here, stuff just comes flying out. So uh, what I have to do, I, I had to figure out some sort of fiddles to put in here uh, to keep the stuff from flying out because it, it just ends up all over the floor. So I, thought I had these um, these tiny little eye loops left over and the smallest size bungee cord seems to fit right between these so I'm going to install the eye loops. The bungee cords are on the way but I'm going to install the eye loops in here and the cupboard in the, uh, in the hallway because that's where we're having trouble with the with everything falling out. So I got these bungees, these small little bungees. I got four of them. Uh, we're gonna stop everything from falling out of the medicine cabinet now. These little eye loops on there. Bye for now. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also find us on TravelingTarots.net, Facebook, YouTube, Google+, and Instagram.